Welcome to my devlog on how I transformed my indie game from that to this in 30 days. In the last 30 days, I've built up my indie city builder from scratch, with a lot of procedural generation, many different buildings and soldiers. Procedurally generating the world for my game probably is the biggest aspect right now. There's a lot to it. You have biomes, lakes and seas, plants and ores everywhere, and of course an island to build on. Right now there are a couple of biomes. Right next to seas and lakes there's the beach biome, which was a desert biome before, but we changed it. It has that strong yellow color, and in my opinion it looks pretty cool. There are also palm trees to make the nature a bit livelier. I also have a model for a cactus, but that's not needed anymore, for now at least. Then we got the main plains, the biome that existed since day one. Green lands with trees and rocks, pretty basic. It's meant to be the one the player wants to start building on. That's why it also contains the rocket, the main building in the game. You can see it as the town hall from Clash of Clans for example. Next, we have the Toontra biome. It's the most boring one right now. There's basically nothing to it other than little changes in ground color. But I will someday add something to it. Maybe you have an idea, post it down in the comments. We also have the rock and snow biome. Those two are supposed to be the mountains. Here we have some more cool stuff. Obviously, there are rocks, but we also have ores. Right now, a diamond and a ruby. So those biomes and the water make up the base world of the game. And it's pretty easy to add and make changes to the biomes. I could literally spawn hundreds of factories into the beach biome, but there's more planned. One comment suggested to add boats and harbors. Those haven't been implemented yet, but the idea is awesome and the models are already made. There will also be humans and animals, which will even more improve the feel of the island. We will come back to that later though. But what's a city builder without building cities? A nothing builder? So I added a lot of buildings over the last 30 days. From simple houses, to factories, to barracks, to mines. Let's take a few closer looks at some of them. Here we have a simple house. It brings us daily taxes, as well as shelter 2 to 5 people, but it will consume up to 40 kW. When next to another house, it will give 50% more money. But in case it's polluted by a nearby factory, it gives 50% less money. And yes, there's even a whole pollution system in place. Take a look. Here we have a factory, it brings huge amounts of money, but also consumes a lot of energy and takes a lot of people to run. It also pollutes nearby tiles and buildings. Let's take a look at one more building. Here we have the star of all of them, the rocket. Because it's the only building you will have in the beginning, it produces some money and energy and also gives some people, but it will pollute adjacent tiles. The system for all of that is already in place, and trust me, it took me a long time, many ChatGPT requests and I'm not happy with the code, so I'll do some code refactoring soon. talk a little bit more about the gain cycle and how to actually get new buildings. You can only skip to the next day. There's no normal day night cycle. On every new day you will get your payment but also weather will change and there will have random events like buildings breaking. And on every new day you will get three random buildings. One specialized on people, one on money and one for electricity. You can choose if and which of these buildings you want to place because they will still cost you some money. And in case you go below your available people, we will earn less money. Also, there is a random weather event each day, like sunny, cloudy, rainy, stormy and so on. These will impact on mainly energy production, but it might also break buildings. There are soldiers, humans and animals. Let's go in more in depth. Humans are just there to make the world livelier. Based on how many humans your world holds, more and more will wander around your island. There will also be more ships and eventually cars. Animals serve the same purpose, but these will spawn in areas where not so many buildings are, so in forests and empty plains. But soldiers, these will actually do something. They are your army and it's their duty to protect your island and your citizens. That was said weirdly. Over the day, you can move them around and place them in different locations and formations. 
you will also get different types of soldiers like long range, short range and artillery ones. But these are in very early development so I won't or can't show much. But so far you can go into the army mode and with a selection window select multiple soldiers and move them around. You will also go into this nice circle. Just don't click on the water. Yeah, they can breathe forever. For later there are even bosses planned that you can attack on daylight in order to get new areas to build on but that's pro imagination. There isn't even combat yet. In random nightstorm the goblins will attack and try to steal resources and break your buildings. You can defend them through your play soldiers as well as watchtowers. These will shoot goblins in a certain area. You see, this is even a tower defense game. Well, that's good and all, but you haven't seen any real gameplay. So, here you go. They enjoyed it. There's a lot more to do and a lot of fine tuning is needed, but that's for the next step vlogs. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one or the Discord. It's down in the comments chat with us. Thank you so much.